Welcome to another episode of Daily Gym. This morning I had a good conversation with a friend of mine about how to scale a business, one that's been around for at most 12 to 18 months. We focused on a service-based company, as scaling a, a company that tries to sell a service works quite differently from a company that tries to sell a product. In my opinion, I would try to offer the core service for free for as long as possible. The main intention, of course, is to try and get as many users as as many consumers as possible. But there are three reasons why I would want that. Feedback, retention, and word of mouth slash reputation. For the feedback component is, when I'm trying to sell a service, generally I don't know if this service will actually be accepted by the market. So you want to test it as soon as possible. Related to that is that, especially if, you're, if the service is provided by human beings, employees or freelancers or anybody that works with your company, Everybody is unique. No matter how much you standardize the processes, you have training manuals or trainings, the dynamic between a human being and that works for you and then the consumer will always be, sli will always, always be slightly different. Having said that, you can automate a lot of these processes, of course, if you use technology, so that the experience that every consumer gets becomes quite similar, if not the same. But all in all, for every service that you provide, you would want to get as much feedback as possible. Related to that is retention. Retention works two ways. From one side is you want to keep as many consumers with you as possible. But the, second, the other side is, from, as a company point of view, you want to identify as much as possible which consumers are worth keeping the most. Especially in the beginning stage when you don't have much manpower, you might not have the technology to really accommodate everybody. You have to sometimes be a bit critical and pick the people that can benefit you the most right now so that you can later on benefit even more people and service to more people. It's the, the traditional 80-20 rule. About 20% of your customers will bring in about 80% of your revenue. So by, by offering the service for free or as cheap as possible, you want to keep as many of these customers with you so that you can get more feedback, which allows you to then identify and narrow down on this particular group of people that have similar interests or similar wishes, which can ultimately lead you to charging money for your service or additional services, premium services that you want to offer to these people. The third component I mentioned was word of mouth or reputation. In this case, if you start out offering the service for free and people stay with you because the barrier to entry is so low, they simply have to spend some time. And generally consumers, they pay more attention to the dollar value attached to the service rather than the actual time spent. They usually devalue that. So if you're able to keep them longer by offering it for free, for instance, you can also showcase to them that you're incorporating their, their wishes and their feedback, which then allows positive, a positive feedback loop, a positive feedback cycle to start. From this point on, the, the people that start with you in the beginning can ultimately turn into fans and hopefully super fans who then start introducing it to their friends. Of course, at some point you can start charging money for the service and some companies need to do it earlier than than others because of the cash burden that you that you have by offering it for free. But all in all, by, by having these early customers and keeping them with you for as long as possible, these people can then do to start doing the work for you, which reduces your marketing and advertising spend as well. It's I tried to make it sound as simple as possible, at least my philosophy in these three minutes or so, but obviously there are a lot more um, things that that come with it if you want to make it successful. But this is how I view uh, trying to scale a service-based business in the early stages. Let me know what you think, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Have a nice day, everyone.